Let's take a look at a real world example where you can see the notion of variation appearing all around us. The volume V of a gas varies inversely with the pressure P and directly with the temperature T. Now let's just stop there because I want us to understand what that sentence even means. So there's a couple of things going on. The volume, I'm going to write this out. So I'm going to show you how to translate from that sentence to some mathematics. The volume of a gas varies, so that means it's going to equal a constant inversely with pressure P. That means over P varies inversely, and directly with temperature T. Well, directly means that the T goes on top. Varies directly, varies inversely. At the same time, we get this. So you see, it's a sort of this interesting equation we're able to produce just from that sentence. Now, we don't know what K is. But maybe we can figure that out. A certain gas has volume of 4 liters, a temperature 200 kelvins, and a pressure of 0.5 uh, atmospheres. Now that information should allow us to figure out what K is. Okay? And here's the question. If the gas is expanded to a volume of 6.5 liters and is heated to 320 kelvins, uh, what will be the new uh, pressure? Okay, so let's figure this out. So we're told that we have a volume of 4 Now the constant we don't know, but the temperature is 200 and the pressure is 0 0.5. If we do a little cross product here, multiply both sides by 0 0.5, then I'm taking 4 times 0 0.5, or half of 4, which is 2. And so I see that 2 equals 200K. If I divide both sides by 200, I just see 1 over 100 equals K, which is 0 0.01. So now I can come back here and write this out explicitly. Forget about the mysterious K. In fact, what I see now in this case is that V equals, now I'm going to put in 1 over 100, so I'll put the 100 downstairs, T divided by 100P. See the 1 over 100 there? If you'd prefer, you can write 0.01 T divided by P. They're equivalent. All right, and now what I want to do? Well, I know that the pressure is 65. I'm sorry, the, the volume, rather. The volume is 65, uh, 6.5, 6.5. So volume is 6.5, and that equals, uh, let's see, what do I know? The temperature, I'm told, is uh, 3. 120, and the pressure is what I'm trying to figure out. So that's going to be over 100 P. You see, everything is known except the P. So I can simplify this a little bit. In fact, actually, I can divide top and bottom here by a 10. I can then do a little cross producty thing, and I see 6.5 times 10, which is 65 P equals 32, and so P equals 32 divided by 65 which we can put on a calculator and see it's about 0 0.49. And my units here are atmospheres. And that's the answer. So the point is that we can actually, just reading this question, which looks sort of complicated at first, we can first of all realize that we've got a particular variation going on here. I can use the given information to figure out that mysterious constant K. Once I've got that, I can then actually extract information. That's the power of variation. Anyway, enjoy thinking about variation in your life. It does have its ups and downs. I'll see you soon.